welcome and welcome to the Arsenal present. How are we doing this beautiful afternoon? Manchester United have just won the FA Cup against Manchester City. And when I did the preview, I gave Manchester United a 10% chance. Like I said, logically, Manchester City should be beating Manchester United. But this is a chance. Like I said, when it comes to football, it's very funny. Even though the team we, we overwhelmingly think should be winning, sometimes can, can feel we also Manchester City lose against a very poor Manchester United. But in isolation for today's game, Manchester United were not very poor. They, you can see they were defensive. Were they overly poor? I would not subscribe to that. In fact, they had more shots on target than Manchester City. Before we continue this conversation, uh, let's add uh, to our, uh, our protocol here. Like the video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. One more time, strike the like on, on the video, subscribe, yet to subscribe, and do not forget to turn on your notification bell. Now, I've seen some trolling, some chest beating by Manchester United fans saying, we've had a better season than Arsenal fans. And Arsenal fans actually joined in that night by shouting, yes, Manchester City, sorry, Manchester United have had a better season than Arsenal. If you're an Arsenal fan with a brain and you subscribe to that narrative, I can help you. You actually agree and subscribe to the fact that Manchester United, this Manchester United that has been polarized throughout the season, some of them want him to hang out. Some of them want him out, want him to stay. They've been shouting how poor they've been, been in most games. And they managed, right, to actually clinch the FA Cup. And you're thinking objectively that Manchester United will have a better season than Arsenal. I can help you. Now, we know how distasteful the social media platforms can be. A lot of trolling, a lot of gaslighting, a lot of get under your skin. If you are going to as an Arsenal fan with a brain, subscribe. And push an agenda because you are being triggered by your jealousy, by your ego. That because Manchester United secured a silver way in the FA Cup in a very poor season, objectively, they secured an FA Cup. And you think they've had a better season than Arsenal? I can't help you. I, ob objectively, you have a problem. You're like when we got won the FA Cup and they got relegated, was that a fantastic season for Wigan? They won the FA Cup. Wigan won the FA Cup and got relegated. Will you consider a fantastic season? I'm not saying Sil winning silver wears are not fantastic. Object that fantastic. There is context and nuances to these things. And if by this, mo if you don't have a brain to apply the right context and nuance in having sensible conversations, you are going to be triggered on the internet and listen to trolls, low IQ conversations, and think Manchester United because of. They clinched the FA Cup. I've had a better season than Arsenal because we didn't win any trophy. They are going to dampen the progress, objective progress we've made this season, strides we've made this season, the quality of our team, the trajectory that we can see. You have a problem. You have a problem. I am not going to engage that nonsense. If you go with narrative and say, much as United have had better than Arsenal, no problem. I, you do you. But I know people with some brain, people who have foresight, who can think, will tell you, even though Arsenal has not secured the trophy right now, the trophies are coming. Objectively, the team is progressing. We have a better team than Manchester United. Winning Cups is fantastic, but that is not the barometer to judge the progress of a team. The league is how you judge the progress of a team objectively. Playing at eight games, not having luck of the draw, not having luck of winning on the day. I'm not trying to dampen Manchester United's victory today. I'm going to congratulate them. That's why I'm making this video. I'm making the content to congratulate Manchester United on, on the isolation of today, winning the FA Cup. Give them the applaudits. But let's stop bringing Arsenal into it as Arsenal fans. Don't let Manchester United fans who are overly excited who want to trigger you, trigger by saying they've had a better season. If they think that they have, they have had a better season, and yet we see all the complaints, the long list, the laundry list of complaints they've made this season. And you're going to let them gaslight you, that on you. One more time, congratulations to Manchester United for winning the FA Cup. They have not had a better season than Arsenal season. Objectively, logically, they have not had a better season than Arsenal. So let's get the conversation right there. On today's FA Cup, Manchester United securing the victory. Kinacho scoring the first goal. Kobe Maino, what a cool second goal is called. But all the plot should be given to uh, Bruno Fernandes for that wonderful pass, the, for the foresight of saying, might not be in that position and giving him the giving him the ball that he knew that might had a better chance than him. That was sublime from 
uh, Bruno Fernandes. For me, Bruno Fernandes for me was the maker of that goal, even though Kobe Mino executed it by scoring it. So, it was a good game. Even though they under the stage for a large proportion of the match, Manchester City applied no pressure. But Manchester City, for some reason, maybe they've all celebrated the victory or winning at the Premier League. They're a bit leggy today, a bit uh, lethargic. And where was Helen Haaland today? I've been saying for a long time, he can score, Haaland can score 1,000 goals. I would never rate him as that elite striker. Goals alone. See, that's why I say conversions to have nuance. He scores a lot of goals. But when it comes to key goals, when they need it, when they really need him, where is Helen Haaland? You can score a lot of useless goals. I'm not saying all his goals are useless, but when you need him to show up, where was he today? Where was Haaland today? In the big games, when, where was Haaland today? So, Manchester City, uh, the mentality, so-called mentality mustard. Remember the mentality Roger was, was referring that Arsenal lacked? Where was Manchester City's mentality today? Rodri, where was Manchester City's mentality today? Because you're so quick to gloat in victory when you won the Premier League and to, uh, telling us, telling all that care to hear that the reason why you won the Premier League, well, you have a better mentality than Arsenal. I remember I made a video that time debunking those claims, saying there was no objective meritocracy to those kind of claims. Some of you came to my comment section and said, no, I'm wrong. So by that logic, did they leave the mentality in the, in, in the coach? You left it at the Etihad or the training ground. Where was the massive mentality that they usually have? Where was it today? Interesting. I've already said that I maintain the stand. Mentality in the context being used is wrong. You need quality players who can show up in key games. If you have a lot of quality players who can show up in key games, you will win most games. All you need most of the time is quality of players on this nonsense misrepresented mentality. Because where was the mentality today? So when you win this mentality, when you lose, what happens, what happens to the mentality? You, you, you kept it somewhere? It's just crazy. Absolutely ludicrous and crazy. So one more time, I am going to give all the plaudits in isolation to today for, for the uh, winning the FA Cup, Manchester United, regardless of how they are, uh, what, what would I call it? They are, their fans are going to rub it on national fans and uh, turn to us. See, do not get triggered, national fans. It comes with territory. If you're not used to the banter nature of football, you should not be watching it. It comes to the territory. And I'm not taking it that too seriously because I know it is low IQ. It is low IQ to think much United about a better season than us because they claim the FA Cup. That, and I give you the example of, of Wigan. Wigan won the FA Cup a few years ago and got relegated. And were their fans excited? No. Because the cops are there. It's good to win cups, but all these things have to be put in the right context and nuance to have the right foresight of how you are going to look at it. You can, they've won the FA Cup, but we can objectively tell you Manchester United had a poor season, objectively. They can celebrate today, but they know in your heart of hearts, they know unless you, are, unless you have something wrong with your brain, Manchester United has had an objective poor season. Now, does it mean the, the Ineos will keep Ten Hag? We don't know. Will they sack him? I don't know. We'll find out in the next coming hours, days, or weeks if this will change the face of Ten Hag regarding whether he will stay or he will sacked. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section regarding this victory in the FA Cup that uh, Manchester United just clinched, beating Man City 2 1 at the Wembley. Let me know what you think about it. And some of you that actually think, for some reason, that Manchester United had a better season than Arsenal, I would like to know the rationale behind it. I would love to know. You are uh, uh, not, not trolling. You objectively think Manchester United had better said than us because they cleaned the court. You are obje like <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Uh on your way out, uh be kind enough to strike the like button. Uh subscribe, yes, subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Very, very important. Like the video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Bell, very, very important. And I will see you guys uh on the next one, <laughs> keep enjoying this channel. Keep supporting. Bye for now. <laughs>